So what TerraPeak does is it takes all the data that eBay has for all of its sellers in the past year and puts it together in a very detailed report customizable by you. In other words, you will not be able to get this kind of data from anybody else because no competitor will ever tell you what products they're selling, for how much they're selling, and how often they sell it. So this is an invaluable tool and it is an awesome tool not only to see what sells and what you should sell but also to research full markets to see how well they're doing for your competitors. So I'm going to go ahead and log in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to research the websites that I just mentioned and see how their markets are doing on eBay. So the first one we're going to put in is Maxima. Notice that I put eBay Motors and only within the car and truck parts. So that's only within the car and truck parts that I'm looking up the word Maxima. We're going to go ahead and click search, past 30 days. So you can see that each month there is $500,000 in sales for the Maxima. You can see exactly which parts are being sold and how often they're being sold. Now the next thing you would want to do when choosing your niche market is check how many actual sellers are always at the top. So sometimes you can have $500,000 worth of sales but they're all spread out through different sellers. What you want to find out is are there top 10 sellers selling top 10 items for the maximum. Keep in mind that on eBay there may be 1,000 sellers but for every 1,000 there's only 10 of them that actually make money. Everybody else just spends money. So you can see here that there's uh, one seller selling the same items over and over again. Not a very good sell through ratio, but he's doing twelve thousand dollars. This one is ten thousand, nine thousand, seven thousand, six thousand, and so on. So this will give you an idea of what kind of parts you should be selling for that niche. And when finding suppliers, you now have a way to actually find your first supplier based on what's really hot on the marketplace. So the next one we'll take a look is K and N. K&N air intakes. Just want to see who the top sellers are and how many are there and how much money is there to be made from eBay alone. And eBay is a very good marketplace when comparing how well markets are doing because whatever you can do on eBay you can do double on Google. So if eBay is doing very well you can do just as well if not two times better when you have your own website and doing it through Google. So we click on K&N and we see that it's a very very popular brand and we see that there's a lot of sellers selling at very high sell through ratios especially the top 10 guys well top 15 and there's a lot of money to be made with K&N. If we do a full report just to see the total dollar figure every month we can see that there's $500,000 in K&N parts alone. Did you just see what happened here? If you are specializing in a Nissan Maxima niche or if you're specializing in K&N only parts, you will do the same kind of revenue. You may ask, how does that make sense? How is that possible? Because one is a niche market for a specific car, so you're selling all kinds of parts for that car. But if you're doing K&N, you're only selling that branded product for all applications. There might be, you know, thousands of different applications for K&N. And you're selling only those. You're only selling that brand to everyone. And you're making the same amount of money. So this is just an, an example from eBay. Which is why I told you that if you want to be a general store, you still have to concentrate on a specific brand or a specific set of products. Because if you concentrate on everything, you're not going to make sales on anything because you're going to be just one of the sellers who is 20 and below who is not making any money and just spending their time and spending money and not making any sales. You need to be the leader. You need to understand your market. You need to understand the products. You need to 
get yourself the prices where you can be the top 10. You want to be able to compete with the number one guy on eBay with your pricing, but the only way you can get it is if you have your own sales channel, if you're moving your products already through that sales channel, you get the discount through that sales channel and then you have an opportunity to get into eBay. If you want to get into eBay first, you're going to have to spend a lot of money on the buy-in before you can get a discount to compete with the number one guy. Because the number one guy is most likely stocking the products. You are looking for drop shipping. Let's look at the next example which was webinar. So webinar, not as hot of a market as K and N, seventy one thousand. You can see, you know, what parts are selling. We can check who the top sellers are. Notice that there's also not that many listings. Canon had over fifty thousand plus, this one only has twenty five hundred. And there's only top two guys that are really selling a lot of webinar. Everybody else is just trying. So in order for you to be the number one or the number two guy and collect all the sales, so he's you know, this is thirty four thirty four thousand dollars out of seventy two thousand. He's basically collecting fifty percent of all the sales from eBay. That's how you become number one. You need to capture the full market share. How do you think he did it? Because he has the prices and he knows exactly what he's doing within his niche. The next one we'll look at is HHR. So we see that this is not a very popular market. The number one guy is only doing $2,600 in sales we look at a full report with the HHRs, we see there's a lot of listings, there's over 7,000, but for that specific niche, for the whole car, for everybody who owns that car, there's only $70,000 in sales. So it's similar to the webinar site, but this one is specifically for the Chevy HHR. Now, if there's a lot of competitors within this niche and there's not a lot of, not a lot of money to be made, Obviously, this is how you know that this might not be the market to target. You want to do something else. You want to do another niche. Like K&N would be awesome, but then again, you have to consider how many competitors you already have. HHR would be awesome if you're the only one, but if you already have two or three competitors, it's not worth it. Same thing for webinar. Same thing for any product, any brand, any niche. You have to check how much money is there to be made versus how many competitors you have. And if there's a lot of money to be made and there's no competitors, which in a lot of cases you do find those kind of scenarios, and situations where markets have not been tapped yet, you can dominate that whole market and make your million dollars. The last one we're going to look at is uh, wheel skins. So wheel skins, there's uh, only 700 listings on eBay, and there is about $5,000 in sales each month on eBay. If you take a look at who the top sellers are, there is basically two guys that are collecting most of the sales, $1,600 and $1,500. No one else is really selling it. So this is a niche, and if you can match the prices, you can theoretically tap into these guys' sales. Now, the Wheelskins has a 50% profit margin on their product, which means if you sell it for $30, you make $15 profit. So if these guys sell it for $1,500, they're actually making $750 in profit each month. If you're new to this and you're just starting out, that's probably more than what you make because you're not making anything. So something is better than nothing. And this is one of the niche websites that theoretically you could have started if it hasn't been started already. The smaller the niche, the more likely there are no competitors to it or very little competitors. The easier it will be, the easier it is to rank. And it doesn't matter what niche you get into doesn't matter how small it is, if you become number one within that niche, you're collecting all the sales. So even if it's small, you're still collecting all of the sales from that small niche, which becomes a lot of profit. The smaller the niche, the easier it will be to get things rolling and get it profitable and make it successful for someone who's new to this. The more complicated the niche, such as K&N, it has a lot of competitors, the harder it will be for you to become number one because you have those competitors. The harder it will be to rank, the harder it will be to do everything because you have competitors and it's a competitive marketplace. So keep in mind when choosing your niche that you want to make sure that there is very little competitors. In best case scenario, there is no competitors. 
and it's a popular enough product where you'll be happy with the profits that you'll be making from it if you were to take over 50% of the sales. So you can always imagine that you will keep 30 to 50% of the sales based off of the number one guy who sells on eBay and without actually touching eBay. So you would be doing it through Google, Yahoo, and so on because you're going to have your own sales channel. Later on, you can tap into eBay once you have the price. In the beginning, you don't have the price, so you're doing your own sales channel. So if you're happy with what the number one guy is doing on eBay and you would be happy to keep his sales or even half of his sales and there's no competitors, then this would be a good niche to go into if you decide to do it.